I'm going to show you how to use the split screen feature. Basically, it's a multitasking feature using two apps side by side, okay, at the same time. And this is going to go for the uh, all the iPad Pros, all the ones that don't have like a physical home button down here, okay? So we can have two apps here. For example, we can have one that's a YouTube app up here. We could be watching a video. On the other side, we can have an um, email app up and we can be uh, replying to emails, composing emails. We can come back here to the YouTube app. We can put in comments, look for new videos, and so on. So how do we get started? Very simple. So first thing you want to do is go, go ahead and open up an app, one of the apps that you know you want on one of your split screens. So for example, let's say I want it like Safari on one of them. So open up Safari just like that. And now from here, go from the bottom here. It doesn't matter if it's over here. Just go from the bottom up until you see the apps right there. So let me go from the bottom up right here. And now I can go ahead and choose another app. Okay, so so really quickly, let's just say I, I click on clock here. Okay, so I have clock is right here. So what I do is hold the clock and then go ahead and move it up. Okay, now what I can do is I can leave it like this and now it's only going to be on top. Okay, now if I want to integrate it into the screen, what I can do is hold here. I mean, and with this right here, I mean, you can only go like left or right. But if I want to integrate it to the screen, just hold the top like that. And just move over when you, when you see that there, like that. And then we can go ahead and let go. And from here, we can go ahead and resize whichever way we want here. We can, go, we can even go back and drop this like on the top again. So you can see, we can go ahead, and go ahead and integrate it back in. Let's move it over, pop it in like that. And even if it's in portrait mode, we can do the same thing here as well. Okay, we can go ahead and grab it. We can go ahead and lay this on top. Or we can go ahead and drop it on the uh, the left side as well and if you want to close it let's say I just wanted to go ahead and have the uh, clock app I just swipe it all the way over if I just want the Safari on I would swipe all the way over to the left and that'll get you out of the split screen view now let me give you a quick, another quick example okay so let's say I want uh, maps up here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up maps on one of my split screen views but I now let me slide up now I also want to get my photos gallery on here too but it's not down here see so what you need to do is you need to open up both of them. Okay, so I'll open up my photos gallery here, just like that. Then I'll just go ahead and close it. Now you can see my photos gallery is down here. So if I want to go back to the um, the maps here, I can choose maps or I can choose photos. It doesn't matter now. I'll just choose maps here. Now let me go ahead from the bottom. Let me slide up a little bit. Let me stop it right there. And now I have my photos app right there. So I can go ahead and just press and hold. And I can walk it up here. I can put it like on the front, the foreground like that where I can go ahead and integrate it. Again, just go like that. You can go ahead and move around. Um, this could be a YouTube video or another. I can go ahead and play that. I can look through this. You can uh, do other things on the other side. Right there, we can go back here. And again, if you want to close it, just swipe it down. If you want to close um, the photos gallery, go all the way over. I'm going to go ahead and close the maps here. I'm just going to slide all the way over. And now I'm out of the split screen, right? Pretty simple.